it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I was all gung ho at the beginning, and now I'm like, ah. Oh. Um, <clears throat> I'm uh, doing really, really well. Um, busy because it's the end of the year and everybody wants their deliverables before holidays and such. So I'm madly working away at those things, and yeah, and then otherwise just getting fully into the uh, holiday season and going all through various parties and functions and um, also really busy with the uh, Trans and Canterbury and Working Group as part of the City of Vancouver here and we're fully into our engagement phase of things so um, <clears throat> as a social science practitioner I have some input and um, you know expertise to lend to the whole engagement phase of things and so whether that's focus groups or surveys or um, a whole number of different things uh, attending meetings and trainings and such so there's a lot there and it's all really really interesting to help me understand the, the local landscape a lot better and kind of what goes into decisions and such um, and what can be done uh, right away without you know any sort of formal uh, edicts or you know direction from on high so uh, and then also trying to understand um, you know how other users kind of navigate a space and how to kind of balance different needs within that space um, one of the examples is <clears throat> within uh, one particular community center there's the men's and women's uh, facilities and then there's kind of a third option um, that's labeled family um, family change room uh, for mixed gender situations and um, we're finding there's a tension in that space between single users and uh, family users and um, you know for gender variant folk seeking uh, or even those who identify with uh, on, on the binary um, and just need a more comfortable or more private space uh, they're often challenged in that space by families and so it's thinking about how families use it and how single people use it and how to try to get those to balance um, and that's a tough one uh, some of it has to do with flow in that space especially around high use uh, periods and such so anyways it's all really I mean I, I, given what I do for work I have kind of a uh, planning interest and so I you know this type of stuff really gets me excited think about and I'm kind of solutions oriented so I'm always like trying to figure out what, what can be done uh, to help everyone um, <clears throat> and then um, what else eh. <laughs> it's so funny I've, I've been um, you know it's kind of cold here in Vancouver not as cold as it is in some other places but I'm noticing a difference in how I maintain temperature or the lack of being able to maintain temperature <laughs> and I think I feel like some of it has to do with the fact that I lose heat from my chest more than I did before um, which is a unintended consequence of um, going through uh, top surgery and it's kind of hilarious um, I endearingly call them my chest warmers <laughs> before <laughs> like oh hello my chest warmers and so as a result I get really 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 cold um, I always had a trouble maintaining my temperature but I catch a chill so quickly now and so I try to layer up as much as I can to manufacture what used to be there before for warmth purposes um, that's kind of hilarious in that sense uh, yeah but <clears throat> other than that I am yeah it's been a really good time feeling good um, in terms of changes like I've plateaued but I'm kind of if that is the case sad about that because um, I feel well especially around my voice dysphoria I wish I could go further with that and it's not gone one as quickly two as deep as I would like and so it's <clears throat> trying to be thankful for the changes I have so far and um, you know be open to the possibility of something else but you know if this is truly it <clears throat> it um, yeah 
and there's ways to work with uh, one's voice too to, to try to lower it a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, and it, and it has changed quite a bit uh, from the beginning. I, I do voice comparisons um, kind of like on a monthly basis, uh, and for the most part, I am read as male these days, which is is huge. I think a lot of it has to do more with uh, how my body looks, uh, and now a lot of my face has changed, um, quite a bit actually, um, and that's probably more what people are picking up on than my voice, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just super self-conscious about my voice and no matter how low it goes, I, I still kind of perceive it as sounding female, I don't know, I don't know, it's really interesting. Um, I don't quite have the full resonance, or what I feel to be full resonance within, you know, um, I know the voice kind of travels from up here down here, and there's more kind of <clears throat> this feeling in the chest, I don't quite have that 100%, um, anyways, I don't want to make this too much of a focus, but it is still something that lingers in the back of my mind, um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, I, I think in the last video I talked about feeling of lower dysphoria, and that, that's still at play, and something that, uh, you know, it's not so much of a, uh, or currently is not a huge struggle, but um, it's still there, uh, kind of as a leitmotif uh, underlying a lot of things, and some of it has gone away, or not gone away, but um, lessened a bit, because there's this um, initiative that uh, some trans guys and I have undertaken and um, provided a more private forum to discuss these types of things and um, with still within YouTube and I think that's helped a lot uh, to talk about those things and just generally within my friend group uh, or those who support me uh, being more open about it especially with um, trans guys that I know here in Vancouver so um, that's been really good too just to talk it out because anytime I have some sort of challenge, if I bottle it up inside, it, it, it really doesn't help me. And it's, it gets me to more self-destructive um, uh, places. And so I, I know that I have, a, I, have, I have a responsibility to myself to, to um, speak what's on my mind, even if it feels uncomfortable or I wish it wasn't there or, um, you know, whatever. I, I feel self-conscious about it. I find any time I talk about it, it, it does uh, help lighten the load a bit um, in that regard. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to make this video and kind of wish everybody a happy holidays and hope everyone's doing really, really well and uh, that you enjoy this time of year um, and keep warm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and if I don't uh, talk to you before the new year, uh, happy new year as well. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Bye.